you know, it's just so hard these days for, for now, I'm a grandmother, this little five-year-old lives with me, and I'm guardian, grandpa and I have guardianship of him because of also <coughs> the growing drug problem in our area that my grandson's mother can't be quite so responsible. So we picked it up and, and <coughs> took over, but we also need to see um, more for uh, substance abuse help in our area. There's very limited resources here. I'm really concerned because, Pam, what you just told me, I'm hearing from a lot of different people. There is a hidden epidemic, you know, the drug abuse problem, whether it's pills or meth or heroin, is not as visible as in, you know, 30 years ago when there were all kinds of, uh, you know, gangs and violence. This is a quiet epidemic and it is striking in small towns and rural areas as much as any big city. We need intelligent employees and, you know, we have the, the, uh, the college and the high school to uh, have technical services, but it just doesn't seem to be happening. We're always struggling to find um, people like that. Don't you agree? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what well, you know, I, met, I met a young man, I don't know if he's out here. Ben? Me. Ben Brown somewhere? Yeah, he went to the Keene State uh, oh, yeah. College program to learn these um, skills. And that's what we need more of, right? We need at the that's high school yeah. and the college level, community, four-year college, more programs that are related to the skills that employers actually need. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the job skills that you are trying to it's technical get? Skills. It's I mean, technical I, skills. I think there's a place for the humanities, but it's the technical skills, mm -hmm. the electricians, the plumbers. Those are the guys that, that we're, we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think we, we have to get back to encouraging more young people uh, to see these as careers, and then we have to have both more education-based based skills programs and employer-based skills programs. You know, the, uh, the kind of apprenticeship programs and other training programs that are both public and private and try to give young people uh, the opportunities. It's really important that we do more to publicize why these skills are going to get you a good job. 